Hello, beautiful bastards. The name is Wolf, and welcome back to some Deep Rock. Hazard 4 is the name of the game. That's what we're going to do with Old Faithful right here, our engineer. But yes, Hazard 4 has been quite the journey. It's a lot more difficult in terms of difficulty spike than uh, 3 is, really. Like, 2 to 3 felt a lot easier to overcome than 3 to 4 until you find yourself actually comfortable in that particular level of difficulty. Or maybe that's just me. I am forcing a lot of builds for fun's sake. As opposed to playing for the sake of value. So it's uh, probably my own fault. But you know what? How dare I have fun when trying to play video games. I know. I am such a rebel. Reload speed, as always. But the plan for this run is twofold. It is a combination of auto mining and auto pickup. The Tesla coil has the magnetic alloy which allows you to pick up things in its vicinity. XP, Nitra, even minerals. Very, very good. But on top of that, I am not actually sure if the pickup radius we have as a player or the upgrades we can pick up as a player affect that particular radius of picking up. So I'm not sure if that is something we can look into. If somebody can put me out of my misery, that'd be great. Because I was looking into that a couple of days ago and I could not find any information on the wikis or anywhere for that matter. Not even on Reddit too. But maybe somebody happens to know if that actually works or doesn't work. And I can be set free from my curiosity. Even if it doesn't work, it's still very, very good. Because there's another upgrade that allows you to essentially get a plus one to the chain. Of course, giving you far more service area. Which is really, really good. But yes... I'm trying to um, get enough XP. I'm trying to get some minerals going as well. Working my way towards the um, the secondary objective down here. Because we also have to chop away... Oh, um, let's do that. Yeah, we also have to chop off, uh, chop off some more kites to get to the supply depot. So, it all works out. Bunch of explosions happening in the back. So, little concerned. But not too much. Delightful level up. I'm going to roll this. Reload speed. Come down. Perfect drop. Um, we're taking the Nitra. Because we're planning to mine the world, right? As I oftentimes do. Oh, 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 oh the perfection. Oh, that is good. That feels good. All right. So we have the mining mod. Now we just have to make the weapon uh, better. And thus the mining will become better too. And we also have to get the Tesla coil. So I need to make sure that I have enough money until I get access to the Tesla coil. Because the fourth weapon really doesn't matter. We're not going to care too much about that. Really not the case. So, let me pick up some more XP. Secondary objective is done, but I still want more. Nice. And if I didn't even have to reroll, that is gorgeous. So now our main goal is to get our primary weapon to 12, our secondary weapon to 6, and our um, Tesla coil to 6 as well, and hopefully get the XP alloy. The earlier we get that, the more we benefit from getting the automated XP pickups, and well, if you play this game, there's always going to be moments where you just leave behind so much experience, and that's going to be a lot less with that Tesla coil upgrade. Such is the plan. Okay, so we don't actually end up with any kind of uh, mining upgrades right here. I don't care about the extra charge. I don't care about the turrets explode when they are removed. So I'm going to salvage this and get some damage. Get plus seven, which puts us a little closer to where we possibly would want to be. To 12 if we want to go for the mining upgrade there anyway. But since we already have a mining upgrade, it has no longer been a priority of mine. Um, although, like I earlier said, it is one of the better mining options we have up until level 18 on the primary turret. So it's going to be uh, a decision making that's going to be based on what we possibly get in the shops and whatnot. Like if we get a bunch of like plus threes, for example, it's going to change my mind, of course. But right now, the primary turret is more important to me than the flamethrower. But we'll see. Uh, we do have some Nitra here. Let's go. Let's do a reroll here. Mm, plus two. Perfect. Some lifetime. 
some reload speed. Wonderful mod. Let's go. Two away from the Tesla coil. If we can get it, if we can get the alloy, we have a run. If I can't get a mining mod and the alloy at uh, the second floor, it's pretty much game over for the, the engineer for me because I cannot scale out of control with things like scanners and such. But right now, we are well on our way. There's a few runs where I tried to do this, but then I got everything I wanted on floor one, and then I misplayed. But So hopefully this will appease Carl, this run. All right. Let us make way for some Morkites. We do have the swarm already. There's a lot of Morkite down here, which is exactly enough for us to hopefully finish the secondary objective as well. So let us just kind of move in here. The damage the enemy does will help mine. More damage. So then hopefully, once we are done with the swarm, we can walk back, pick up the XP, pick up the Morkite. Ooh, nice purple lifetime. That's really nice. And then immediately, secondary objective is done. We're still fine. We can move to the beacon and hopefully get uh, maybe squinties, BLT, fire rate. There's a couple of good upgrades here. We can uh, benefit from massively. Okay. There's BLT. There's also XP scanner right here, which is really, really nice. However, I have taken some damage of so BLT is the smarter pickup, the more reasonable pickup because of my own tomfoolery. But if we had the XP scanner we could just use our mining tools in the future just generate to, to, to essentially generate an infinite amount of XP, right? Which is kind of nice. But right now we just have Nitro, which is fine as well. Um, mm, let's get some more lifetime. How much lifetime do we have right now? We're at 15.5 seconds out of... out of... Uh, well, out of 10, really. Because it's 5.5 seconds more. So we have... Yeah, 55% more turret per turret, which is kind of hot. All right. Yep, another expected unfortunate. Oh, boy. Yeah, like we, I'm trying to... This is really unfortunate because I was trying to get to the other side because I want to get more gold. But I guess we're just going to try to get some meta mining done. Hmm... In terms of the fourth weapon, it doesn't really matter. So I'll just take the shard defector and we get a laser. Why not? Why not? Helps me get some directional damage, I suppose. More fire rate. That's very nice. All right. Lots of units right here trying to get to me. I say trying. They are getting to me. Boss is about to spawn. Okay. Um, mm, let's pick up some more pickup radius. I don't know if pickup radius works with the alloy. It would be really nice to know if it does. Okay, so it looks like we could go for turrets that move us around. So we have a moving mining platform. Okay. I was hoping for maybe some plasma for, meme, uh, for memes there, but... Because plasma can bounce into walls from walls or from enemies to walls or from walls to enemies. Which is really good. But so far, the laser seems pretty uh, pretty exciting. Might be a, a weapon I have to pursue in the future. Yeah, look at that. Get some extra beams on that. I'm sure that's one of the upgrades. Could be fun. All right, so let us move on. We can see a lot of the environment has been mined, including minerals. But yet, we still have to find the weapon level. I could have taken the universal reload speed there, but I need a weapon level. Because I don't care about the damage of the turret. I care about the actual overclock of the turret. And it might very well be the case that we have to go to level 12 to get it. So we are way off if we are unlucky the next upgrade. So let's hope we are not. All right. Pick up some more gold. Um, hmm. Reroll damage. Turrets explode when they are removed, adds one extra charge. One extra charge is actually not bad, because that's the mod that gives us the extra chain 
the extra step in the chain, but it does mean that we don't have the auto pickup yet, which means we're going to have to dedicate all our resources to get to that final upgrade at 12, the last chance we have to actually get it. So it's going to be an interesting decision-making moment here. I could possibly try to roll in the shop as well to facilitate some levels. Um, oh, I also leveled up. Plus one. Plus one, plus one. Mm, range of all beam weapons. Yeah, we have the flamethrower dirt. Uh, I am going to roll here. Reload speed, no. Reroll. Critical damage. Reload speed, we'll take that. Um... I do not have that crit one yet. So I think I'm just going to keep my money. If I had the crit perk or the crit relic, I probably would go uh, with it. With crit damage, but we don't have it yet. so, And I'm not sure if we're going to get it. So who knows? We'll find out. We shall find out. Alright. Make it happen. The flower should not be too bit, uh, too problematic to pick up. There you go. Nitra is coming in. More money. Come on. Perfect. Yeah, the turrets following us around is cute, though. Once we get to level 18 and we get the 150 fire rate, that's going to be really nice. I'm still... Looking for more flowers. Hmm. Looks like we're going to be a little unlucky with this. Ah, there's one over here. I think there's one close to the supply beacon. So I guess it ends up being okay. Yep, there's one. A lot of explosions happening in the back, which means lots of XP. Let's put our turrets down. Very good. Two more levels for the redemption arc. Yep, there's another swarm, so it's going to be tough to carve our way past or carve our way back. Ooh, look at that. Do I want gold or do I want to take the squinty? I'm going to take gold. I need to get more resources to compensate for the fact that we don't have the auto pickup yet. And if we get more resources, well, that compensates for that. All right, let's move through. Oh, boy. Avoid the melees. I am playing with fire here. I'm forcing the Tesla coil now. Ah, oh, but that's an epic, though. I can't say no to that. Another level. Come on, Tesla coil. Come on. There it is. Magnetic alloy. All right, so we have the tools of the trade. It only took forever. But we have them. And that's okay. Now we need to upgrade our primary weapon for maximum value. Okay, come on. Reload speed. Very good. Because as you can see right now, we do have all of those deliveries coming in. Look at all the XP coming in from outside the window. Or outside of the, uh, the screen, not the window. The actual screen. More reload speed. There you go. The Elite has spawned. That's fine. Uh, we'll do some more reload speed. And yeah, because we have the extra step in the Tesla coil, it ends up being uh, quite the level of surface area we can cover for the auto pickup, which is really, really nice. I just wish I knew if the pickup radius has an effect on it. I wonder. More reload speed. Explosions are, explosions are happening. Okay. We're still leveling fairly quickly. Normally, I end between level 55 and 60 on a run. So hopefully we get close to that. Um, nope. Let's do some reload speed for 18, which gives us the fire rate buff. All right, so we now have some real boy turrets, which also will mine so much faster. Um, I don't care about you. Reload speed. I'm going to see if I can get my Tesla coil to 18. It's been a while since I've seen anybody do that. So maybe the Tesla coil is going to be the star of the show. You know, it's a bit of a grower. Not so much of a shower, you know? 
And we have plenty of time to grow now. So let's see if we can carve our way through our path here. Uh, or carve a path here. Because it seems a little sketch. But sketchy is my middle name. That was really sketchy. Look at the low health I am getting. Alright. Plenty of time left. So hopefully we can maybe... Nope. I walked a little too far. It happens. You know, you... You get a little too excited and just it just happens you know what i mean it's unfortunate okay so um reload we'll take the nitro right here and the reload speed we'll take a little bit of health because it's a little sketchy okay perfect yes four more levels before uh we can have some fun we should be enough right if we pursue gold, we have the bully caps again. We always have the bully caps. They never cease to amaze me. Uh, I don't need you. I don't need you. I'm going to reroll this. Okay. I guess we'll also have a consideration for a level 12 flamethrower. Get more mining. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The walls are slowly fading. Perfect. Hazard 4 engineer is well on the way. Uh-oh. And I'm about to throw. <laughs> Forgot about the uh, the purple projectiles. As the laser beam is also pink and purple. Okay. Already a swarm? My. Okay. Yeah, we have put ourselves into a bit of a corner here. And it's becoming a bit of a problem to get through. I am trying. We do have a perimeter of lightning set up. Maybe this is it. This looks like it could be it. Perfect. We're through. Detonate. Oh yeah. Give it to me. Um, I could go for fire rate, but we're trying to get the Tesla coil sorted to 18. So I know there are like better upgrades, but once you get the Tesla coil upgrade... The Tesla coil, 18. Can you really say no to that? I'm going to go for reload speed here. Because uh, I want to make sure that all my tools are slightly better. Supply depot or supply beacon on the way. Look at all that delivery. Ah, oh, so good. It's not Jajorna. It's delivery. Okay. Um... I guess we'll take the flamethrower. Just for the sake of weapon levels. Okay. Need to push through this wave. If I want to make sure that I get access to um, the supply beacon. I guess I can carve my way to victory here. Get some sugar. There's a lot of like damage happening. Of the plasma variety. Damage that doesn't quite make sense to me. If I'm being honest. Ooh. More reload. My turrets have some uh, some speed behind them now. Wish we had more lifetime. To really crank it up. Like 15.5 is really insane though. But. Kind of would be cool to like break that 20 marker. You know what I mean? Alright. Let's put our turrets down. And make the most of it. Tesla. One more. Okay. That was super greedy because I wanted to get it down and on the boss. But I guess it is what it is. A little bit more Nitra. When in Rome. Let me carve through the wall here because it's getting a little explodey soon. I suspect. Alright, what do we have? Um, more Nitra. I guess I'm going to do the healing pills here because, uh, yeah, my aggression has been painful. So, shoot out electrical beams to all nearby constructs or adds three charges. They're both quite lovely. Um, I'm going to go and try to do conduit because we have a bunch of constructs after all. So let's see. The entire world is mined. The entire world is now on save as well. Perfect. Let's go to our drop pod. 
before it's too late. Okay, we're still getting plenty of XP sent to us. Amazon Prime is uh, is crying. No level though. So yeah, we're getting close to 55, which is to be expected. We have the upgrades right now. I'm going to go for some reload speed here. I'm going to re-roll. Um, yes, we'll do this. So we get the plus two. We get the beam. At least there is that. And then we'll just try to upgrade our um, primary turret for damage. And of course, better mining power. Because the flamethrower only has more beams now. Because we salvaged the other one. No mining for us, sadly. Alright. So far, so good, though. We don't have to do much of anything other than to build the world and leave it empty. I think this is turning into a metaphor for uh, the real world. But you know what? That's fine. I don't see a problem with that. Mm, I don't think it matters much. Those buff the turrets. I'll do the unlock a different time. Alright, so. Look at how many turrets we have. Kind of floating around. Really, really good. So I don't think most enemies can reach us. Except for like the really tough ones. But I think that's okay. As long as we stay mobile. We should be fine. So let's pick up some health and then we'll start egg hunting. Or let them come to us. That's also a possibility. But yeah. I didn't actually get that many damage upgrades because I spent most of my time getting reload speed and uh, fire rate, of course. So the hit per hit is not all that wonderful, but we have so many turrets alive that we do have a very large threat zone. Which is very, very good. Um, speaking of reloading... Let me re-roll this. Um, reload speed. No. Um, oh, maybe we can reach level 18 on the flamethrower. Maybe. Who knows? We are at level 55. Let's keep mining. Yeah, the relics were okay. Like, I got BLT. Normally, I got the ammo rig as well, which is 50% fire rate. And the squinties for like a whole lot of crit damage. Which is typically how I do my damage these days. Because now that I have that unlocked, it's just way too good. So powerful. Because it also makes it so your, all your meta progression kind of counts. Which is really nice. Let's pick up some more gold. Wonderful. Alright, can I get to the supply depot? Maybe. The final egg has been released. Yeah, how is this... How are these guys taking the damage? How does this weapon work? Bounces on terrain. Yeah, look at all the... Look at the, the actual radius sometimes. I don't know how that seemingly works, but I see plasma damage on units that aren't even close to the actual laser beam. Oh, speaking of squinties, look at that. A little bit more crit damage. Uh, yeah, sure. Bunch of fire rate. How much crit chance do we actually have? Less than uh, 50%. Unfortunate. Still a massive damage up, though. No? I'll take that. Because, I mean, look at the crit damage. 262. I will consider that to be worth it. All right. The boss is here. So let us just kite him around on the Tesla coils and across all the conduits. It looks like it's good. Conduit's kind of funny. I'm not sure how good it is. We're going to have to see if the electric damage actually is uh, popping off. Because I did not spec the conduit for like damage, right? So if the damage is good, that could be a good indicator of uh, a viable tool to pursue perhaps with more efficiency come different hazards. Oh, well, the boss is already dead, so there's that. Oh, well, that, that didn't take too long, considering uh, the way we have built. Level 57. Alright. Yeah, not bad. Let's go. 
So many Pterodon, like a moving convoy. So good. Auto pickup is delightful. So let's see, 1.9 million. Hmm. Yeah, it's not as good as I was hoping. If this was like closer to what the fire turret was, I would under I would be more surprised. But it's uh, not even half. So, but that's okay though, because we picked it up purely and solely for the alloy, which has been a phenomenal tool and not having to worry too much about picking everything up. So, lovely little run. Lovely little run. If you are lazy and want to have things be auto picked up, very very good. I do, however, still wonder if the voltaic shock is affected by pickup radius. Who knows? Complete the dive, completed as well on that first one, which is very, very good. Um, still got some meta progression going on. Yep, so we have Hazard 4 completely done, which is very nice. Still need to unlock it on the final one, though. So we'll see how that turns out. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good night. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you guys next time.